What's going on guys? Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane. We are up against... Ooh, if he gets that knock up, I might be able to kill this guy. Nice. I'll flash and get that auto. I should be fine here too. I do need to reset immediately though. Alright. <laughs> What's going on guys? Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Ooh, we're just gonna fight here I guess. If he just bails, I think we're fine. I don't get to spin my gold, which is tragic. But it is what it is. We got our Relentless Hunter stack. Did Yes. Yes, he did. He had to have because he like gap closed away from me somehow. Nice. This Akshan's actually chunked out too. That's good for us. If he gets a little too cocky, he might be able to drop an E on his face. We'll see what he does. We are on a little bit of a loss streak, unfortunately. I'm not going to let him hit us with that. So I'll just E that. I am going to miss a couple of those minions because I was far away from it, but it is what it is. We will just chill. We got the first blood, so we can just afford to chill, honestly. Chill back here. Let this guy push us in. We do have a Nocturne, not a super gank heavy jungler. Ooh, nice. That's good. We pop his bone plating. We can't go for anything else other than that because he can just, he's about to hit level two and dash on us. Plus, like, trading into bone plating is just useless. You do no damage. Really sucks the way these minions are working out. They're all like one shot. But I cannot get him. I just have to let him push us in here. Although, we might be able to get... I may have messed that one up. I think I did. Ah, it kind of sucks. If he would have taken a tower shot there, that would have been perfect for us. Would have put us in a real good shape. His jungler is for sure on that side of the map. See how he's shading over there like that? He's trying to bait me into fighting him. But we are not going to fall for it, boys. Because we already have the lead. We don't need to throw it. We will just farm it up. We can actually look to trade with him when he goes for the cannon, though. And we just E out there. Not bad trade at all for us. Honestly, he might be in kill range, too. I want to kill that cannon minion, though. Nice. With his Q down, we're for sure going to look for him here. We actually messed up his Q. If I had a little bit more confidence in my damage and he didn't have pta we would go for him but if i like if i had the dark seal there if i would have spent we definitely would have looked for to fight him there i want to hold this wave right outside the tower i did not need to get chunked by that though i want to save up as much of my health as possible i really want to look for this guy try and we got his flash, though. That's huge. It's big. I want him to help me with wave. I really just want him to help me push this next wave. I don't care if he gets the CS, I get the CS. It does not matter to me. I just need this wave to get pushed. Ah, that sucks. Udyr's going to stop me. All right, we can't fight it anymore. All right, not bad, though. Got the wave pushed. 23 to 19, that is not bad for us at all in this lane. And we get a free little back here. Looks like the team's doing well, too. All right, let's go back. Grab that, that. We'll grab one of these. A control ward and a sweeper. And that is a pretty damn good back. All right, not too shabby, boys. We, oh, I think, honestly, I think we have had opportunities to kill this guy. If I would have played a little bit more on edge on the edge, you know I mean, limit testing. But if I give this guy a kill on top of him just having, you know I mean, the range advantage and TP advantage, it just sits so bad for us. So that's why I played kind of safe. Because if we just scale into the mid late game, we'll be fine. But if we give this guy too much pressure early, it's really bad for not only us, but for our team too. Whenever we don't get hit by that, it's really good for us. And if he walks back into us, that would have been even better. We traded pretty damn well into him right there. And did not get traded on back, so that's good. This guy is a, an Akshan main. He has, like, almost a million points on him, so this guy definitely knows what he's doing on Akshan as well. Do not want to get cocky on this guy. Hoping I'm missing as well. I probably could have held that wave right there perfectly. I'm going to throw my control ward down right here. Like I said, anytime he doesn't have that Q up, we're looking to trade with him. I think we can all end him here. Ah, maybe not. I'm going to look the Q out through here. This guy doesn't have TP or Flash, but I don't think he my E's going to come up soon enough. Oh my gosh, boys. 
We are so incredibly lucky. All right, man, that was so lucky. If this guy didn't have Udyr there, we'd kill him for sure. We'll grab the boots. Yeah, he's lucky, man. He is lucky. Udyr was holding his hand because if Udyr wasn't there in that exact moment, we'd kill him. And he gets a, he gets such a good like reset there. Pushes the wave under. He has us by a good amount of CS. We can come here. Come on, let's go. Are they all in on us, bot? I really need to get level six before I can test any objectives, though. Yeah. Plus, Udyr plays really well into Fizz ult with his uh, unstoppable. I don't know what form gives it to him, but he can't be like CC'd or anything. I think we can contest this. Need to take this control word out. I don't want to fight now, though, because Lowie's missing. We can't fight with Lowie being missing. That's just theirs. We can come here, though. Uh, he's just going to do his red buff. That sucks. We're going to go over the grubbies and potentially dragon, too. Because there's nothing stopping these guys from just coming over here and taking dragon. Right after. Are they low at all down here? They're not even low, bot lane. That's not even close. I'm going to see if I can't come beta fight here. Do they have any vision there? Oh, Udyr's here too. I don't think there's any kill on these guys. Maybe if they come to throw a ward here. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, this is a little sketchy. I'm just going to flash because I don't want to use my ult. I want to use my ult for that guy. Nice. Huge. That's such a big play. Now, we do lose a lot of pressure mid, but I'll just come here and get plates here. That was a big, big play. Don't have Sheen, so I'm not going to use my E until the wave gets here. Because I want to auto W this. And then use my. Uh, ooh, two out through there. And then use my E W for resets there on the wave. We should get this whole wave too. Got one more second on our E. Nice. I don't think we get the plate. I think that's a little bit greedy. We might. We'll see. It'd be huge. Oh, it's so freaking close. Oh, we don't get it. I guess we're too far. But still, regardless, super, super good play for us. Um, let's grab that. Honestly, tier two boots might have been the play there. Now, this guy is going to have a lot of farm over us. Ooh, they're working him. Does this guy have ult? I guess not. Come in here. We might be able to do something here. hit her auto her once nice i don't think we win this extended fight maybe if rel hits her big big let's go i don't think we let's go good job i think we got dark seal stacked on one of those guys definitely not the best we ended up dying but our nocturne is giga fed all right Let's just come over here and try sweeping this. This guy is not that strong. Although he does have some items now. Yeah, this Nocturne is going to be very strong when he comes back up. For sure stronger than the, uh, the Udyr. We are not super strong ourselves, but our team is doing pretty well. Don't think I want to roam. I just kind of want to look to, yeah, get some vision on where they are. Akshan just went somewhere. Oh, that's Udyr. They have no vision here. Oh, I don't think we're even going for that guy. That sucks. My team was actually going on these other people. I don't think we can... Ooh, maybe... She gets a stun on him, we can for sure. I'm gonna walk past him because I wanna be walking past him so I can keep auto on him. Ah, uh, come on, brother. You gotta let me get those ones. We are not gonna help our team with the dragon. I need it's way too important to just shove this wave and make Akshan miss it all. Because we're already behind in CS by about 12. So if we push that in here and force him to miss it, that's huge. 
don't think we have our Lich Bane. We'll probably stay another wave. Our bot lane's going very ham. So I'm thinking Udyr's probably going to head down there. So I think I'm safe to just kind of push like this. Akshan can be invis, so I'm just going to get that plate and dip. Even though I'm only 200 off of uh, my Lich Bane. I think that's the play. Doing pretty well everywhere. Even the Scion lane is doing surprisingly well. It really sucked. We're in such a bad buy spot here. I guess we'll sell this and grab this. Ooh. Yeah, I can't do much about that. I did ping that he was there alive. But I should be able to make him miss some farm here. Shut down onto him, too. Not the worst. I think our team plays really well into their team. Samira has that, like, AoE win wall. I think we can contest this, but I really want to take this uh, cannon minion wave out first before I look to fight. We need this guy to help us down here, because this is a 3v5 in our favor right now. I ignited this guy, but he's just going to get... We got to go on this guy, and then we'll fight the other guy. Now we can fight this dude. I'm going to E, so he can't get away. Nice. Huge. That's such a big play. Didn't get any kills, but we got a couple assists there. We got a couple of stacks on our Dark Seal. And we're only down, like, what? 13 CS right here? 12 now? So this is not bad at all. And I'm going to hold this wave right here. Nocturne has no ult, but... I think I might have a little bit of kill pressure on this guy. I mean, unless he just reset. He might have even just reset. I'm going to reset because I can get my Lich Bane. And such a big buy. He is low. I would have kill threat if I stayed. But I think it's just too important to grab that and get out of the map. Because not only do we get the Lich Bane, but we get another uh, Amp Tome as well. I can only ping these guys so much. All right, there's his TP. He got an item. He doesn't have an item yet. So we do have an item advantage over him right now at this moment. And he just used his Q as well. I'm going to look for a little trade onto him here. He actually traded way better into us there than we did him. But it's not bad because we, we have our all. We have the all-in potential, right? So we can afford to kind of take those, like, little bad trades. Oh, our bot lane might be toast there, though. Yeah, they're definitely dead. Slain. I think they just stayed a little too long. Now, what I'm curious is, did Akshan roam to that? Because if he did, then I... Yeah, nice. Then I'm going to get a lot of plates here. We have Lich Bane. We have a lot of damage. I see this guy. Udyr comes with him. Then I'll kind of bail out a little bit more. But they might even just come back there, yeah, to help their team. Leaving me to get literally almost every single plate here. Nice, we E that tower shot too. And they're getting kills there. Yeah, so all in all, this is super worth for us. Even if, um, yes, I'm I'm going, bro. I don't know what more to... I got almost every plate. And I'm going to get first tower blood. Like, this is absolutely worth it. Let them keep on extending. All right, that death is not the greatest. But I'm still going to get more pressure here. Nice, that's huge. I'm getting a lot of gold and XP, too. Yes, all revived, but I'm going to say worth. Yeah, and she's still pressuring them here. Big ult. Did she win it? Barrier out of both of them? Ooh, let's go. Well played by her. All right, we'll grab that. We can't really grab much else. All right, I am very, very strong at this point now. Even in farm with this guy, even in levels, I have the Lich Bane. I got all that plate gold money, and we have a Seekers right now that we're sitting on. Somehow, our top lane, this matchup is going really well. I definitely did not think that that was going to go as good as it did. As good as it has, rather. I'm going to come do some sweeping, because I think I want to look for a potential dive on this bot lane. An ally has been slain. Uh, I remember how I say potential. Is she low at all? I'm going to try to go for a two-piece here. And I might not even get one. Although we did just get her flash. And Nico should die? Nice. All in all, very worth it. Setting us up really nicely for the dragon. That is a massive wave I'm missing right there, though. 
We're just shy. Okay, nice. There we go. I was going to say just shy of our item. I want to come help my team here. I think I can make it to this. I'm going to double E just to get to the fight sooner. I really want to fight this. I think Udyr is going to bait his homies into the fight. I think we can we do this? I don't know if Rel's fast enough. Actually, I just think we just do this. Yeah, we're just we're over committing here at this point. This is super hard. If anything, we just need to pull them into us by doing the dragon. Yeah, we can just do the drag. Force a fight if we need to there. Alright, I was about to say, I don't know if this is the real her or not. Also, don't know what is slowing me here. Stay on the Drake. I think we just stay on the Drake here, right? This is big damage on all their carries. I'm trying not to take too much damage from her tentacles, though. I have to bail out. I'm literally getting slapped from random tentacles. Might have been good, though, because maybe... That allow you folks in me and pinnacling me might have saved my team. So get the dragon, get everything else. We're doing pretty good. I didn't even have to burn my Zanyas. We'll get a reset in here. I kind of wish I had a little bit more gold and I could just look for a tier two boots because I haven't used my active here and I'm not going to get the value out of it. All right, let's grab a control ward. I'll probably put my control ward somewhere around there or over here. Essentially over here in the Rift Herald, because we do, uh, need it. damn, they're almost full AD if it wasn't for the Nico. No Alright, Sion's taking up a lot of pressure there. He'll definitely go down. He is scaling hard, though. We could probably, yeah, I would say we can for sure contest this. I have a control ward. I'm going to throw it right here so we can see if the enemy's coming. And we deny them any vision of being able to, like, see it and come over here and contest for free. I think he's fine to do this alone. Uh, if she's going to come play, then I'm going to come over here and play. This is going to be a really bad fight for us, I think. I think this is a bad fight for us. I don't know, though. That's a big smear all. Yeah, we don't want to go too ham here. Oh, I screwed my way out. Yeah, I, I screwed myself. I E'd and killed the minion I needed to QW through. So I think we get everyone here, right? Close. Not bad. Definitely bad play by me, though. Just getting a little cocky and greedy. All right. Um, we're going to go Rabidons. Sion, I think, goes down here. But he's stacking hard still stack, so it's actually not the worst. He's scaling up very hard. Bad play by me. I, I'm not as strong as I think I am. I eat right on top of all of them to get the slow. Because it looked like... We were all going to funnel into this hole and get Misfortune ulted on top of the Lowey ult. So I just went ham onto their back line. So that way, you know, basically having them, like, having to think on the fly. Like, oh, do I sit here and ult or do I need to run away from this team fight because Fizz is on us? And I think I got them to run away from the team fight for the majority of that. Probably should have dropped into the side lane. But, man, our bot lane is just skirmishing so much. I want to be around. But maybe I can come over here with Nocturne. They have a control ward here, so they're going to see me. It's all good. I didn't take it out. I think it's much better to just take it out and let it stay up. Although I don't know where this guy is. and I don't know if he can... He's got an IE and a Noon Quiver. So he might be able to kill me here. I'm trying to see. I think he's already got his back off. I was just hoping. Hoping that maybe he would get... Uh, caught slipping up. I think I'm gonna take this wave before Sion gets here. I can corral it all up and then just eat it. I think we can look for a play here. Yeah, that guy's caught out right here. Do you have a ward, but I'm not gonna take it because I want to fight. <clears throat> Akshan's down bot. I really want to force a fight. Nice. I got a fish onto one of them. I'm just gonna ignite the, the Nico. Nice. Should get everyone here. I don't know if we'll get him. But we can definitely run him down here. Do we have a wave? We don't have a wave. 
I don't mind the Baron call. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I think you just rush Baron. I'm gonna let Sion do his thing. Udyr's proxying us, huh? I mean, I'll, that's all good with me. He just Sion's taking his base right now. Let's see if he comes down here and checks this, though. Cause he might be able to do something crazy. Ooh, I know I'm not trying to sit, get killed here. Stay on the Baron, you Jenobos. I have to back off there. I can't help them. I'm like one tap from... Oh, can we not... Do we not have Smite? This guy doesn't have Smite. Yeah, we just got to bail here. We reset it. Let him just focus on the dragon here. Honestly, they might be able to take it now that we're all having to reset. Maybe not. No, they have two people down as well. All right, let's go tier two boots. Um, that's all we can go. Yeah, if we get an Infernal Soul, I think we can just close the game out. And then maybe, honest, we might be able to just bait this fight to have them come over here to try and contest. Yeah, let's take out all their vision so they have to come over blind as well. I'm going to try and steal this. Because if we steal this, it, our whole team gets it. If we get that, it's huge, yeah. Now we can just fight. I'm just going to throw an ult over there. Zone him into our team. Yeah, look, Octon just got hit. I just one-shot Octon right there. He's going to burn. I'll kill her, too. Do her barriers, everything. All right, we might be able to catch these guys on the back half here, too. We are in between towers, so it's not probably that worth it. Yeah, I'm just going to come to the dragon. I'm going to come kite back a little bit with that guy so they don't go too ham on him. Um, I don't think I can fight that guy by myself. I think because he has a lot of AD. Probably could just kill me. But pulling him over there is good because we're taking a dragon. He obviously can't contest that. I do want to come over here, though. Make sure he's not taking out any vision or take out any vision he might have as well. That, that did not spot me. All right, they don't have vision. Our team's going ham in the mid. I don't know if that's the play. I'm going to come catch this top wave. All right, I need to reset as well to get a needlessly large rod. A big spike for us. All right, let me back. I have nine stacks on the Dark Seal, too. We're pretty stacked up. What's the team doing, Baron? Oh, I'm coming over here. I can't reset. We got to fight. I think we got to fight. Molten onto her again, or just eating onto her. So that way, she can't just, you know, pop off with her ult. This is the real one right here. I should be able to kill her here. I'll walk her down with one more auto. Nice. That should do it. Akshan is alive and could do look for resets. So we got to be very careful and all stick together here. I think this guy's dead. I just got to wait for cooldowns. Nice. Huge. Could be a free Baron. Although, do we have our damage? We do have our damage here. I have to grab this if I want to help him take it. I'm so low. Scion pressure in mid too. Really good. Yeah, I agree with this guy. We have a slow Baron take. Although that Baron is going to help our boy Scion stay alive a little bit longer. All right, let's back grab that. Um, since we have perfect gold, we're just going to go ahead and upgrade that. All right, our farm is not bad this game either. 153, we're level up on our opponent. They do get the kill on our boy there. It is what it is. He's going ham. Ah, I got the cannon stolen from me. He's going to give me this wave, though. I like it. Yeah, I want that blue buff. All of us end up getting it. Yep, I'm with you. I would love to look for a play onto this guy. Ooh, onto both of them, honestly. Yeah, this is huge. Look for a fish onto either one of them. We kill all of them. Ooh, nice. I don't know if we can follow up on him. I'm going to look for a QW onto him. 
I didn't even get it to him. Dude, this Nico does damage here, huh? I'm just gonna E. Huge. Samira popping. Just Samira ting. So I'm gonna come back up here to the wave because we're gonna need a wave. Even if we take that inhib, we're gonna need a wave to be able to take the Nexus turrets. I think we can just end. I don't know why we're splitting top. 14 seconds, maybe not, maybe we can't. Yeah, I think we should have just stayed here. I'm not sure why half of our team went top lane. Dude, that's a big brute by her. I Zonya's in my E, so I didn't get nailed. Oh, I'm thinking I'm dead here, that sucks. The great ult by them, we did get two towers here though. Oh, I don't know if we can end. I think we can. Scion does so much auto damage. Nocturne's auto should end the game. Let's go. There it is, boys. All right. Biz mid versus uh, Akshan. Taking the after action after this. All right, fellas. This is the after action for the game we just played against that Akshan mid. And yeah, this was a good game. I think we had a very... Obviously, getting that first blood helped us. Um, not immediately right because we weren't even able to like back and spin our gold but it still helps a lot um helped us on our first back got a dark seal i was able to snowball a little bit we were actually doing very well in the lane versus this guy um in my opinion diamond four akshan he has an akshan main like i said he's got almost a million points on akshan just felt like i don't know if it was due, due to like the way we traded with him he wasn't able to really harass us as much as he wanted to because i know in the early game we were dodging a lot of his cues which is what you know a huge factor and you know him not being able to poke you down and bully you but yeah, I, I think we had a very very successful lane into this guy uh we played around our jungle extremely well i think that was the key point to winning this game obviously not only you know samir popping off doing twenty one thousand damage but don't let that fool you the nocturne honestly our whole team played so well together like the scion popped off did so much work applied so much pressure and still did all that damage our jungler facilitated so many of our lanes helped us out um Got a lot of objectives, and then our bot lane popped off too. And this rail played phenomenally. I want to give this rail a massive shout out. Four one and thirty. This guy put the team on his back. He's the unnoticed, you know, unsung warrior. Uh, big shout out to this guy. Just everyone on my team played really well, uh, and it feels really good too. Uh, it says we're at fifty LP. I just think that's not uh, the op.gg refreshing because we are at seventy one now after that win. Oh, maybe boys, we'll see. The, the old internet's going kind of slow. But yeah, boys, we are at 71 LP here. We did lose two games in a row at, we were at, what, 90, close to 90 LP, and we lost two games. So that win only got us back up to 71 LP, but we're not going to let that, you know, discourage us or anything. We're going to keep on pushing on. We are in Diamond. We're having fun. We're playing, grinding the Diamond games. Uh, obviously, Masters is, is the goal, and I think it is a very realistic goal. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are along with me uh, through the journey to see it happen. But, yeah, fellas, if you enjoyed that video, drop a like. If you're enjoying the content, I really do ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps push our content out to new people. Helps us grow the community and get discovered. And, yeah, stick around for the next video.